Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. This is New Cap News with Bart Pityasek. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The province is warning Albertans about two new phone scams. In one case, the callers claim to be from the Canada Revenue Agency collecting back taxes. People are told they must immediately uh, pay to avoid a fine, arrest or even deportation. The CRA says never ask for telephone payments. In a second scam, the person claims to be calling from Direct Energy or NMAX. They say your account is in arrears and threatens to cut off your electricity unless you pay with either a prepaid credit card or online. And dirty companies say they never ask for payments this way. If you've received this kind of call, the province says do not give any personal information. Uh, and if you do suspect something, ask the caller for the address of your account or details about your payment history. And then tell them you're hanging up and calling the CRA or your energy provider. Well, starting this week, smoking in city facilities has been vaporized. As Jeremy Thompson reports, the city says it doesn't promote any type of smoking, regardless of how it's done. It's well known that smoking tobacco is bad for your health, but less is known about the cigarette's new electronic cousin. Monday, council voted in favor of a new policy to keep the smokeless e-cigs out of city facilities. I think it's important to, to show that we're, uh, we don't promote smoking in any, of any type, whether it's an E-type, but it's uh, chewing or smoking. Councillor Jason Whiting says even if the health risks are lower, which is up for debate, it's important to take a firm stance against the habit. It may not be bad for you as, uh, as a product, but I think the perception, the view, is that it, it is smoking. It is something that can be, uh, at some point, um, turned into true actual tobacco smoking. So I think if we can eliminate it now, it'll be good for us long term. So what is known about vapor cigarettes? Well, e-cigarettes, the research uh, that's been done is that they are also addictive and can cause addiction. Dr. Raf Saeed says it's unlikely that e-cigs could lead to smoking tobacco. Well, I've never uh, come across in my practice anyway that people who started with e-cigarettes and gone into cigarette smoking, usually it's cigarette smokers who switch to e-cigarettes. Well, I think it's a great move for us to be proactive in something like this, and I think it promotes healthy living and that in, in our municipal facilities. The city says because it's just a policy, there are no fines associated with using an e-cigarette, and their smoke-free environments are already being encouraged through signs they put up last fall around city parks. Now, you can't be fined for smoking in a city park either, but the city says the signs have already been fairly effective. Reporting from Bud Miller All Seasons Park, Jeremy Thompson, Newcap News. Members from the Canadian Construction Association came to town today for an open discussion with the Lloydminster Construction Association. The CCA aims to address and lobby issues affecting construction companies at the national and local level, but it may surprise you to hear what might be holding the hammers back from swinging. Well, one of the things we're looking to accomplish from these meetings is to hear what's uh, keeping the contractors up at night, what are the issues, and see if we can determine some kind of a, a, a trend in the country. Valente says that in the next 8 to 10 years, 300,000 people will join the construction industry. And in order to keep up the level of activity, Canada will have to bring in workers from other countries. We are the top 10 construction markets in the world. Top five top five in the world. That's a very busy market. And we can't uh, do it all with just homegrown talent. We have to bring some in. And uh, uh, in the past, immigration uh, laws weren't uh, favoring uh, the trades, the, the, the tradespeople. So we're trying to change that. We have to separate labor from skilled labor. Uh, labor is not hard to find now with the downturn in the economy. Skilled labor is still hard to find. But there's a lot of other trades that people aren't aware of. Sheet metal. Uh, insulators, glazers, and those trades are still very, very hard to find. For the time being, commercial projects budgeted for 2014 are in still in full swing, which include two new restaurants, new retail stores, repairs to the Lloyd Marl parking lot, and an 18-bay co-op. 